going on YouTube? We're back again with another card. Today we're gonna be aligning a 1964 Chevy Impala and we're gonna be using the Hunter machine, the P100 Hawkeye. So as you can see, I already did the um, compensation fit, uh, procedure. You have to do it every time we're gonna line a new car. So as you can see, we have our toe really closed, and we're gonna be fixing our camber and caster. Make sure everything is aligned. This side's a little bit off, but we're gonna be fixing that. You don't know how to uh, how to adjust that. The machine sometimes tells you. So on um, these older cars, they use shims. Okay, so first we need to open the hood, and to open the hood, there's a lever down here. This one, just pull it, and the hood pops. And so we're gonna be adjusting our cambers and caster. And we see here on the computer that we need to adjust with shims. Hit next, and the toe is always the same in these older cars. They have these adjustable sleeves. You need to lose the nut, the bolt, and you turn it to adjust on the specified range of you where you want it. So in this case, the toe is really close. It's really, really, really negative. So first, you gotta fix your cambers, and then you're gonna fix the toes. Okay, so. We move our sleeve to the desired position so we can have it on green. And it went a little bit far. So we're getting close to the green bar. And there we go. Okay, so once you have this already close to it, it's time to adjust this so we can get more accurate readings. Now we are here on the top. So as you can see, this is the control arm and the shims are located behind this little metal thing. So uh, we're gonna be removing, as you can see, we have, we have negative camber and positive caster. So we're gonna be, um, if I'm not wrong, if you remove shims on either side, that makes um, it makes the car go negative. So uh, taking it's negative and adding it's positive. So it's like obviously a logical thing to know. So we're gonna be. Um, on this ones when you remove the front um, if you remove a shim on the front it goes like this or like this it's a, it's a little bit complicated to understand how these things work so once you get used to the um, moving of this it becomes pretty easy when you're aligning so every car is different and these are the most difficult ones to align We're gonna be using an 18, but this one doesn't fit, so um, it's a 17 we're gonna be using. Yeah, it's a 17 inch. You can either use a 17, the 17 range, or I like to use the the 11 16s because it has this ratchet and it makes things more easier and also was gonna tell what else 
are right here. If you don't have shims, you can either buy some shims of the Harbor Freight. They are uh, pretty cheap over there. So we're gonna be taking some shims from the back. And these bolts are sometimes really hard to remove, so you have to be really careful. And yeah, it's pretty tight. this and the car is hot so I have to make this job quick because the customer is waiting already and probably I'll take two because the measurement is really really off specs this car is modified by the way it's been lowered so it's a little bit more difficult when when the car has been modified by the customer To make sure your shims don't move because when you're tightening everything back again some of the shims just move and fall apart fall down or something just gotta hold them in place and do it again see our measurements change so the caster is gonna change once we redo the calibration procedure so recalibrate so I can show you how much change something so right now we're gonna recalibrate and we're gonna hit measurement caster and measure caster again so we go on the car and this is the tool I was telling you about steering lock so we turn on our car and as you can see the measurement change and you see we have a perfect still needs a little bit more but that's as close as we can get so the next step is this side and again you have to make sure you go it's most of the time in close range so you get more accurate readings so this side it's already like let's say um, 
then we're gonna focus on this side and once we get this side more stable center then we're gonna go back again to this one and do it right because you have to be on both sides at the same time because if you just align one side um, it's gonna compensate the other side and probably go more negative or positive on the other side so you have to go on both sides at the same time there is probably a chance that we're gonna be adding shims on this one in the back so uh, let's just lose these both these nuts This is really hard. Just watch your fingers sometimes with these things. They're really hard. And they hurt. Trust me, they hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, so on this side, we're gonna be adding shims. I can see the machine now that it's compensating the weight of the car. So I'll be adding shims on this side. As you can see, the other side went a little bit down. So that's when you remove and it tries to compensate all the time. So I'm gonna be doing caster measurement again. Hit OK. And I have this tool so I can see it. See now that it's becoming more green. As you can see, I went a little bit too far. Your measurement is more close now, as you can see. So, um, caster is never accurate unless you do the, the measurement. So every time you move it, you have to remeasure caster all, all the time. Both sides are, are the same thing. We're back. Third time. Okay. Now we have everything on green. Then we do our printout. So we can show the customer that we align the card. So yeah, once you get everything close, you get you put everything back to place, tight everything back, and make sure you don't leave marks on the cars on the car. And you're ready to go. But for a test drive, make sure the steering wheel is straight. Make sure it doesn't pull to one side. And you're done. That was all guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. And thank you.